this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. And I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air. In West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground is where I spend most of my days. Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool and all shooting some b-ball outside of the school. When a couple of guys who were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight and my mom got scared and said, you're moving with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. You are watching TV9 News. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now, here are today's announcements from the TV9 studio. Many people think powerlifting is just about the ego but honestly it's no different than any journey you will experience in life you will push to get ahead and along the way you will battle adversity with failures plateaus and injuries but it's just like every other aspect in life what defines you in that inner drive that also pushes past adversity and aspires to be to be better than you think you can be the training season starts october 30th at 6 a.m if you want to join Come to the one hour of her practices, which will be held every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday at 6 a.m. in the weight room. Athletes will have three chances at three regional meets to compete in three core lifts, powerlifting, squat, bench, bench press, and deadlift. The total maximum lifted in each category is combined, and if your total is high enough in your gender weight bracket, you can qualify for state and or nationals that will be held at Baton Rouge, Louisiana in early April. So you are willing to put in the work to make it happen, to push yourself to the next level? Is there a Spartan warrior living in you? Good, Good morning, morning students. students. Today we will be learning both the Naughty Students and the Nice Students Act at the Snack Shack. Hmm, it looks like the Naughty Student will just dump their change on the counter and ask what they can afford. The nice student, on the other hand, has their money and order ready for when it's their turn. The naughty student orders without thinking and blames the workers when they can't switch to something else. The nice student walks away with their order happily. The naughty student looks at their phone instead of the menu in line. They didn't know what to order when it was their turn. The nice student is ready to order when it's their turn. Way to go, nice student! The naughty student stands at the order window after they've finished ordering. You're in the way, naughty student. The nice student moves to pick up their order at the pickup window on the right. The naughty student stands in front of the blue line and blocks the hall. Uh-oh, looks like you're in trouble, naughty student. The nice student remembers to stand behind the blue line. No ticket for you. Great job. Follow, Follow these, these tips and you'll be on your way to being one of the nicest students, students at Oshkosh, Oshkosh North. North. Senior pictures are due to the yearbook by October 31st. You can email them to the Oshkosh North yearbook at gmail.com or drop a hard coffee out to Ms. Klein's room at 235. Here with Miss A. What's your favorite song? Um, Calm Down, Baby Calm Down by Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez Arriba. Can you sing us a bar? Oh, baby.
the Oshkosh de Recreation Department is accepting teams for the high school recreation basketball league. Entry deadline is Tuesday, November 21st. The league is for boys slash girls who are not participating on high school team. Teams must be coached by a parent or a player on the team and mu must attend all games. League play games December 2nd. Entry forms available at 425 Division Street, 7.30 a.m. through 4.30 p.m. Thanks for listening, comrades. Within recent days, there have been problems people with PDA. Honestly, I don't know what there is to complain about. See, that's perfectly fine. The PDA issue is a misunderstanding between teachers and students. Because, well, you see... Well, that's fine. <laughs> well, they're just teenagers, and, uh... Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. PDA is not okay. Please consider becoming a D.A.R.E. role model. On November 1st, there will be an Excel session where you can apply to become a role model for D.A.R.E. elementary schools. This is a great opportunity to connect with students and share your high school experience. This opportunity is open to any juniors or seniors that are interested. Thank you for watching TV9 News. Have a great day.